Good morning, everyone. So, as you can probably tell, I'm not in the UK anymore. It is like 7 a.m. and I'm standing in the middle of Times Square and I'm very happy to be here because I love New York so much. And yeah, it's been a long time since we were here, but I'm here now. So why am I standing in Times Square at seven o'clock? Well, we arrived last night and we were jet lagged and I woke up at four o'clock this morning, we went for a walk and I'm still out walking. So uh, here we are. Why am I here? Well, we're visiting friends in Vermont and we thought we'd spend a couple of days in New York before we fly over there. And because of that, we know that I'm gonna be absolutely taking you guys fabric shopping. That's what we're doing this morning. Not right now, because I'm basically still in my pajamas. I'm gonna go get changed and everything, and then we're gonna come back. But we have a little bit of a catch. I cannot buy any more than one fabric for this trip. One fabric. That's all I have space for in my case. I'm still gonna take you around the stores. We're still gonna look at all of them, but I can only pick one. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but it is a good exercise in restraint because we know that I have none of that. But this time I actually, I actually can't. I'm gonna try and see if I can sweet talk my boyfriend into letting me use some of his luggage space, but he doesn't have much either. The reason why is because we're both on hand luggage only because the flights from New York to Vermont uh, the planes are really small and they only have space for hand luggage which means we couldn't take any of our checked bags that we could have got with our like UK to New York flights so I'm kind of gutted but it also means I, I don't have space for all the fabric which I would have if I had brought some checked luggage I would have literally come with half the space so I'm still going to fabric shop because it's sacrilegious to be in New York, be a fabric hoarder and not go to the garment district. So we will be doing that and I'll take you around everywhere. We'll have another look, see how things have changed in the last three, four years. And then we're going to pick one fabric. I have many outfits that I want to make. So I need to pick one in mind and then with that, find it. What we're aiming for, I really hope I can stick to it. I have already seen there is a post office down the road, but like we're not, we're not doing that. So one fabric, that is it. Um, yeah, hopefully we can stick to it. Anyway, it's morning. It's getting busy. I need to go have breakfast, have a shower, get ready, look presentable because I don't look like that now. And then we're gonna go do some fabric shopping. So hope you stay tuned. Hope you stick along. Let's go. So this is my day one casual New York outfit. We got the casual baggy jeans. We got my sneakers and this top I made, it's helper sew. I think this is the pantsy shirt. It's super comfy and really nice and loose. And now we're gonna go and hit the city streets. So I am currently on West 38th Street, which was literally an eight minute walk from the hotel. So I feel like we picked the location very well. Uh, I'm walking towards Mood, that's where we're heading to first. Um, gonna have a look in there because it's quite big in there and I always end up spending a lot of time. And then we'll move outwards in like a circular radius from there. I'm still very adamant about the one fabric but Sam did say I might be able to have one additional fabric and put it in his suitcase. So we'll see. And also, I know, I know, I shouldn't, I can't, but I've been thinking about all the different ways that I could maybe get away with having the extra fabric, such as wearing one as a huge pashmina scarf. Because who's gonna stop you if you've got a big cape looking thing it's just a piece of fabric, right? So that's one way I could do it. So I could have one in my bag, one in Sam's bag, and then wear a big pashmina type fabric, you know, two, two to three meters, just wrap it around me and be like, yeah, I'm just cold. I always walk around with a huge blanket with me. I'll be probably trying to figure out how I can basically break my own rules that I've given myself. But yeah, we're nearly there. So let's go inside mood and see what's happening. 
Okay, so it turns out I was on the wrong street. So we're gonna go to Pacific Trimming instead, have a look in there, and then we're gonna go over to Mood before uh, we're about to get run over, before anything happens. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we are out of Pacific Trimmings. I'm literally just walking one block over to Mood because I got completely the wrong street. And I'm gonna close my eyes, not look at any other fabric place until we find Mood. Now, I think with all the little plans that I've been making, maybe I can sneak five fabrics. Five? I don't know, it might be too ambitious. We're gonna see. All right, let's get I'm turning the corner off to Mood. Exciting. I'm in mood. I just got here. They have Wi Fi. Amazing. So, already I see a thousand things that I want. And yeah, so the budget has been slowly increasing from one fabric to two to maybe three to maybe five if I'm going to wear a headband and maybe a scarf and a turban. Who knows? I would like some coating. There is a coat that I want to make this year. Um, some denim, possibly coloured denim, possibly. And yeah, there are a few dresses and stuff that I want to make in different fabrics. So we'll see. We'll see what pops out at us. we found a rayon that I really like but and then we've got this crepe here two shades of green uh, it would be to make a dress with a matching jacket a pattern that I recently just got this one is probably better suited and it's got a little bit of stretch to it but this is the color that I like so we don't know anyway two choices right there all right I found the leather section and I found this. Please look how gorgeous it is. So it was all rolled up and it looked like it was smaller. And I thought if it's a small piece, we can absolutely make like a pair of like sandals or maybe even court shoes if it's like just this. Turns out it's all of this is way too big i will like that that'll be maxing out my luggage allowance but, oh my god could you imagine a pair of knee-high boots in these absolutely gorgeous so yeah it's gonna have to be a no but i have found two others which i'm not sure if these are multiple or one so we're gonna unroll them and have a look if it is a small piece whichever one's the smallest piece i will take that and that will be fabric number one small enough that i can roll it up and put it in my backpack which means i can maybe squeeze another fabric in there all right we've made it to the top floor where it's wall suiting how cute is this maybe we'll find something here So we are at the solid wool coating, which is kind of what I'm looking at. And I was going to go for camel because I was like, you know what? This year we're going to have a camel coat. But I also really like wearing green. We know that green is my color. So now I'm like, do I want camel or are we going to do a green wool coat? Like we're thinking Max Mara style, um, which everyone has in this color. But would I get more wear out of it if it's in like my standard army green or like this kind of teal green who knows
Okay, so I'm out of mood and I only bought one thing. I was in there for like literally an hour and a half. I touched everything, I ummed and ahed. I took a lot of pictures of barcodes and stuff because I will be going on the website later on probably to buy this and send it home. But um, yes, I did well. But I put it out to Instagram to let everyone know I was just buying the one fabric, uh, possibly two if I can wear one of them as a blanket and three because Sam has given me some space in his um, in his suitcase. But then I was just like, I need to find some other ways to get fabric on a plane without actually getting it counted as fabric. And so far they've been cracking me up. I've got one person saying, you know, you're allowed to bring a pillow on a plane with you. And you can absolutely fill that pillowcase with fabric and use it as your pillow. They're not gonna check. So that is an option. And that would maybe, depending on the size of the pillow, give me like five to six different fabrics or one really big chunky fabric. Who knows, we're gonna go across the road and head over to these two. There's one over there, and then we're gonna probably go get some lunch. Okay, so these things look gorgeous. I already know that I don't need anything in this store, but I'm gonna go and have a look anyway. We're just looking for looking sake. Please, gorgeous, love it. So these pieces come in the front and the back and the side and you buy them as one and then you can just sew the dress together. Loads of different designs, designs, designs themselves and then his team make them. And as you can see, there's all different kinds of appliques. This one, absolutely gorgeous. This is a skirt, so that's the front and then there's a back piece and then you can put whatever top you want. But look at it, so gorgeous. We're at Spandex House. Hard to find because it's under scaffolding, but we're gonna go have a look and see what we can find in here. Okay, I just went to a haberdashery, completely forgot to film it because I was like, oh, let me look in there. And I found some zippers, lots of zippers. I'm collecting zips because I plan when I get back to start on my boot making journey um, and I'm gonna need a few zips for that so turns out zips are not cheap especially the good sturdy ones in the colors that you like so I just spent $83 on zips by themselves madness I've got one fabric 8,000 zips and part of me thinks maybe I should call it a day but another part of me really wants to look at more fabric so I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna do that over some food. So I was just standing outside stealing um, Starbucks Wi-Fi so I could post some pictures and I saw this in the window so we're going over there. I know there are loads more but I'm gonna go to like the big ones because I'm running out of time. on sample cards so you just rifle through and I'm in the coating section because we are still oh wow look at that looking for coating oh my god that's gorgeous what is this oh oh wow look at that anyway as I was saying all on sample cards so you can have a look get swatches and then I guess you take it to them and then you can get your fabric so we're gonna spend a bit of time in here how gorgeous is that? Oh, and that as well. Wow. This is what I'm looking for. Look at the texture of this. It feels so soft. Apparently it's made in England, so what am I even doing here? But look, 65% wool, 25% mink, 10% cashmere, and camet. It's beautiful. 
they also have it in this gorgeous color here so nice this angora wool even fluffier i mean can you imagine how warm you're gonna be wearing it? okay i'm out i didn't actually spend long in there i went straight to the coating section because i think that's what i'm looking for now i want to make a coat i found some beautiful fabrics it's raining i'm getting wet beautiful fabrics super pricey and absolutely so huge that i don't think i could manage it they ship internationally. I think I will bite the bullet. Not now, when I get home and buy one of them. I did get samples though, and they're quite nice hefty samples. So when I get out of the rain, I will show you them because they are so beautiful that I absolutely have to get it. And the price, even though they are pricey, you would absolutely be paying like six times that for the coat by itself. So that is the girl math that I'm doing to justify the purchase. I think I'm gonna go inside now. I think I'm done. I've got one fabric and a bunch of zips. I think I did really, really well. I really thought I was gonna be looking crazy on the plane, but I think I'm ready to call it a day. Who knew I would be so good? I'll show you when I go back to the hotel what I got. And we still got one more day. So you never know, there might be a part two. I am back in the hotel room and I have completely surprised myself. I only got one fabric. Who? even am I? I don't know. So I'm going to show you here, instead of doing a separate video haul, we're going to do it at the end of this video, which almost never happens when I'm normally out and about. So I'll show you what I got really quickly. I got some haberdashery items as well. So I'll quickly talk you through those things. And then I'm off to dinner because we are going to do a nice tasting menu in a really nice restaurant. And I made a dress for it. So at the end of this video, I will also show you what I made and how we're looking. How we're looking. I got a reason to dress up. I'm very excited. The fabric that I got was actually a leather hide. I got it from Mood Fabrics. After I saw that beautiful green that happened to be like five meters long, I picked up this green one instead. It's like this like minty lime. And as you can see, it's got like a little croc on it. It's quite beautiful. And I foresee a beautiful pair of shoes in this. As you know, I am completely obsessed with making shoes now, so that's what it's going to be. This is, um, it says here, it's eight square foot. I don't know. It is quite large, so I definitely have enough to get a pair of really nice court shoes. I'm thinking a pointed pair with a stiletto heel would be really nice. And if I do it properly, I might be able to squeeze a little something else out of it, maybe a sandal with some straps. So we're gonna try and be very good. And I think this is a lambskin because it's very, very um, thin, but it's also buttery, buttery soft. So that is what I got. There is still time tomorrow to go get some more stuff, but I'm really gonna try to not do that. I did get some samples because I am trying to figure out what fabric I want to get for a coat and I really want to get something that's high quality um, and then the coat will be in like a really classic style. Think like the Max Mara coats. Um, so I want to be able to wear this forever. So I got these from B&J Fabrics. Really big samples, which is great, and they deliver internationally. So I will not be taking this home with me. I'll just be taking these samples home and then later on I can decide which one that I want. So we have all sorts and it's got all like the details here. This first one here, which is 65% wool, 25% uh, mink and 10% cashmere. It's really pretty. The color is in camel. And this one is $62 and you can see it's got a really nice sheen to it. We've got this one, which is wool Angora. So if I'm not mistaken, Angora is from the big fluffy rabbit that they um, use the downy fur from. This one is 100% wool Angora and the color is called Bison. You can see this one is a lot thicker and it's got a really nice like fluffy sheen to it. Beautiful. This one is 79 
uh, dollars a yard. Next, we've got another wool angora. This one has, as you can see, like a stripy texture. So it's definitely textured. Um, the color is called nutmeg. Really, really pretty. A little bit thinner than the other one. And this one is eighty two uh, ninety five a yard. Now my two favorites, which of course are the most expensive one. We've got this one, like you can see, look how thick that is. So thick. This one is 90% uh, virgin wool and 10% cashmere. And this one is $125 a yard. Um, not sure what the color is, but I would say like light beige. And this one's really nice. And finally, my very, very favorite one. This one is green. I think it would be gorgeous, but look at this deep, deep green, beautiful. And if you can see, you can see the sheen on that and you can see like that's fluffy. That's really nice and fluffy. This one is 75% alpaca and 25% wool. So as you can tell, it's really nice and thick as well. This would be super, super warm and the most luxurious coat you can imagine. And it's 155 dollars per yard and if you're making a max mara style coat they're normally floor length or at least ankle length so we're looking at like four maybe even five yards or like three to four meters so that's um that's quite a pricey coat but even if you were to add that all up it's still cheaper than actually buying a max mara coat which are like two two grand upwards depending on length and color and fabric so i mean i know which one i would do and that's what i now need to decide so i'm going to take these home to the uk and we're going to decide which ones uh we like i'll still be looking but like these ones are gorgeous and i looked in mood as well and they have some gorgeous ones but these ones were my favorites so i got some haberdashery items also i'm going to really quickly whip through them because i do need to get ready so Got some masking tape in this red because really hard to find in the UK for some reason. So grabbed one while I could. I picked up a lot of zips, mostly because yes, you can find zips in the UK, but there is a limit to the type of YKK zippers you can find and the different kinds of metal hardware. So I went for all these different colors. I went for long and I also went for short in this blue in this green in this uh tan color and in black long and short in both and i did two of each because i am going to be making some boots this autumn slash winter and i want them to be zip up boots and these are the colors of all of the leathers that i have and obviously you have to have two because you make two shoes left and right so that was uh that was why i've got so many zips i got myself a yellow zip to match this fabric here not for this top but for the matching trousers which i'll be making when i get home i also got in these khaki green because i have some green denim I plan to make a pair of jeans and also a denim skirt and last but not least i got some hardware i'm going to be going to uh malaysia in november so i'm still making a few summer pieces uh, like hot weather pieces so i got um this brass ring for a summer dress that is going to like hook in and go out with like cutouts also i got one of these like u bars which are great for like tops or skirts and the fabric will gather around it. I also got a rounder version of the same thing because I think I do want to make like a uh, like a vest top that has a gathering here. So those are what I got from Pacific Fabrics. And that is everything that I got. I know I rushed through it, but I've got to go to dinner and I promise you I will show you the dress that I got, but let me go get ready. Okay, so this is my outfit for tonight this dress i made from mimi g i don't quite remember what the um number was this is the knit that i got from barcelona so i'm using up all my barcelona fabrics um really cute really simple but perfect for this amazing dinner that we're about to do anyway i'm about to be late so let's go
it is the next day and we are having flash floods outside so i am still going to be doing fabric shopping because the weather never stopped me and i knew that it was going to rain so i brought myself my own little raincoat and this is amazing look at this he's got his own umbrella i also have an umbrella the rain is like it's pretty epic it's it's madness but um i'm about two blocks away i've got about two hours this morning and then this afternoon we are flying to vermont i put my leather in my bag and yeah it fits i've got plenty of space so we can maybe get one or two more and fit them in so that's what we're gonna go do now i might find something i might not um so yeah there are a few places that i didn't go to last time that i want to go to h&m fabrics is one princes is another and i think i might go back to mood because there were some fabrics there that i really liked so uh let's do it rain or shine we still shopping okay so i am outside h and m fabric it looks like it's jam-packed full of stuff i'm very excited to go in there's like loads of like signs saying like sales big sales so i think uh, i think it's gonna be good but this is the window it's just full of fabric saying big sale today only cashmere hmm interesting let's let's have a little oh yeah let's go things that I like in here I'm walking towards I think the coatings I've got like suits behind me apparently there's cashmere and it's 50% off so let's have a look maybe it's um maybe we can find the same type of cashmere but not as expensive as the other players we'll see we'll see but um yeah there's there's like a ooh, look, at, ooh, look at all of that and then we get lost and then there's a, a wall that goes up it goes there is so much here so this looks very similar to some of the samples that I got yesterday. It says down here, cashmere, wool cashmere and mink for the noblet of England. If someone knows what the hell a noblet is, please let me know. Maybe it's like for the nobles in England, who knows, but it's, it's very nice. They also have like different colours. We've got this one here, which looks like the green one. Look at that gorgeous apparently they're all 47 49 dollars or 50 dollars which seems like a bargain but... okay i have found myself back in mood found myself a nice sportswear fabric uh that i'm gonna make we've decided we're not gonna get any coating today i will actually get some samples and make a decision and just get it shipped to me uh but i have found myself back in the leather section because i guess this is one of my new my new addictions so bear with me uh just gonna have a little looky low to Vermont at our friend's place. We were just looking at the chickens. We're taking a walk because they have the whole of this is there. So we taking a nice little walk with the dogs, the hay barn, the greenhouse. I'm going to do a nice hike. Got my hiking boots on. This is Respy. This is Oakley. Hi, Oakley. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, really move it up. Now go down, yeah. Up and there down. You go. Oops, She's like, I'm freaking She's trying, out. Trying to... <laughs> it's very stable. Hey friend. Yeah. I am a farmer now. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> we got egg. So um, this is the chicken coop, and this is a, uh, like a flowering crab apple. It's beautiful in the spring. Yeah, yeah. It's easy to prove, but I'm having the best time um, living my farm life. Okay, no longer in New York. We are now 
in Vermont and I am at the Vermont, what, what's it called, sorry? The Vermont what? Sheep and Wool Festival. The Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival. So there are sheep here, there is wool here, there is all sorts of stuff. And even though I'm terrible at knitting, I'm going to have a look and maybe maybe we'll pick something up because um, it's, fabric is fabric, you know? Um, so yeah, let me show you what's going on. I'm gonna eat some food and then, uh, and then yeah, I just thought I'd let you know at the end of this vlog. All right, all right. Like biology is the like men are talking like one black one every ten talking months. about you know wool I mean? like they actually know what they're talking about yeah no like right, this cool. is this is just <laughs> real like men talk wool real <laughs> men talk wool this is really super real soft real men though. talk wool that's our podcast <laughs> real men talk wool yeah. I can see like on a date like on a date today like today we're going to After look at this weather, it's gloriously sunny and oh, it's so beautiful. And the dogs, <laughs> the dogs want to be in on the action. <laughs> Almost never happens. There's only oh, did you call her? Did you call her? Oh god! I was like, what's happening? <laughs> For those of you wondering, I'm on an e-bike. There's no way I'm doing this under my own steam. My gosh, we've been climbing mountains for like two hours. I think yeah. she was just I think she was having a hard time. I think when I was coming down, I think she was like trying to say something like this horse has no idea what it's doing. <laughs> 